Good morning. It's November 11th. Our reading today from Solid Stepping Stones is called Ready for Battle Day. It comes from 1 Peter chapter 5, verses 8 and 9. Be clear-headed, be alert. Your opponent, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion looking for something to swallow whole. Stand firm against him, knowing that the same kinds of sufferings are happening to your brothers in the world. We have an enemy. He is powerful and depraved and knows where he is going to wind up. Because he knows that, he has no other purpose than to destroy as much as he can in the little time he has left. He is the father of lies and does nothing but kill, steal, and destroy. Woe to the Christian who takes him lightly. His deceptions can cloud our thinking, and the false security he offers can cause us to be lulled into a sense of complacency that causes us to not be alert. In our pleasure-centered society, even we Christians have been mesmerized into thinking that if we suffer, something must be wrong. It doesn't occur to many Christians today that if we suffer because we are willing to resist the devil, something is going right. Our brothers and sisters in China and Nepal and Vietnam and other places in this world are suffering because they resist the devil and refuse to stop preaching the gospel. When we resist evil, we join them. How long do we think that we can just coast along in this country without finally coming face to face with our enemy. Today is ready for battle day. When we are ready for a war, we are clear-headed, alert, and stubborn. The enemy is real, and he will try to swallow you or someone you know today. If you are ready for battle, you will stand firm. If you are lax, you or someone you know will become the enemy's dinner. Let's pray. Lord, I want to fix my mind on you, but I also know that I have an opponent who wants to destroy me to get at you. Make me alert today and keep my head clear. I am in a fight. If you agree with that prayer, say amen. Your readings today are from Ezekiel chapters 28 and 29, 2 Timothy chapter 1. God bless you. And I'll see you tomorrow.